Welcome to this episode of the Hornet <laughs> Manuscript Podcast. Uh, my name is Finn Hammersley, and today I'm joined by... Toyta! I'm Jacob. And today we'll be covering the Yotse mystery. Yahtzee? Yogtse. Yep. And I'm gonna need you to drop that spelling in the. In Actually, the I'll, I'll send you a picture. No, no, I think it's better for us to just, like, guess. I, I, I actually am gonna send you a picture for this one just because it'd be easier. Why does it look like that? Weird. Uh, Superscript one there. Yeah. Well, I'll. Well, let me. I've, I've just. Is said, that I, with it? <laughs> sorry. The superscript one does, does that have any bearing on it? I I don't even know what that is. You know when you're doing to the power of like two squared or something. Oh, shit? I actually will go over that soon. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is called um, superscript, right? Ah, uh, maybe. Like you have subscript, which means it's below superscript. Yeah, superscript. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, just just super for script. <laughs> yeah, just for my listeners, um, I would recommend googling this. It's Y O G apostrophe T Z E. Though you'll probably be able to see that in the title of the episode. Oh, um, it's an apostrophe. <laughs> well, yeah, but it could also be superscript, and I'll go over that soon. Uh, okay. I'd recommend just having a look at it because we'll be talking about how it looks soon. Um, so, what, do, do any of you know anything about this before we start? No. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Fair enough. This is an, actually another personal favourite of mine. Um, just, I just like it, and I don't know why. It's something that fascinates me and I've done a lot of research into. Ooh. Um, alright. So, in 1984, uh, Gunther Stoll an unemployed food engineer from Anshausen uh, in West Germany uh, was suffering from a moderate case of paranoia. Prior to his, <laughs> prior to his death, he occasionally t- spoke to his wife of them, I did finger quotes there, uh, forgetting this is an audio medium, um, mm-hmm. unknown mm-hmm. people who supposedly intend to harm him. He mentioned them specifically on the uh, evening of October the 25th, 1984, at approximately 11 in the evening. Uh, now, I, I, I told these two before we started, uh, this episode will include a lot of me attempting to uh, uh, an- uh, pronounce German, which <laughs> I am not good at. Don't worry, uh, I did... Um... Five years of German, so this would be great. Don't worry, I once in like year three had one of my friends who spoke German try to teach me German for like two days. This will be a breeze. <laughs> All right, so at approximately uh, God, uh, approximately eleven in the evening, he yelled out, uh, "Jetzt get mein and looked off." Which approximately translates to "now a light is dawning on me." Okay. Uh, okay. Or, or <laughs> now I've got it. Um, he then oh, wrote, "Like Eureka." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He then wrote on an envelope, uh, six letters: Y O G apostrophe T Z E. Um. And the first bit we'll be discussing is, is that G a six? Because a lot of people say that that G is a six. Um, Yo, six to Z? To the power of one. Yo, six to Z! But who tried six to the power of one? <laughs> Which is, is that, isn't that just six? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, what would it be? Solve G to the power of one. Uh, Yo, G to the power of one. <laughs> <laughs> Word. All right. Um, so, uh, like a lot of people theorize, like it could be a six, and it could be a uh, a license plate. Um, ah. And shout. But also, it could be. Do do I review? Know the concept of a number station? So Define. Are there? You know the concept of a number. Oh, a number station. No. Uh, define. So, it was basically something used during the war, and I think it's still used nowadays. Um, where it's basically a radio signal that just that posts a coded <laughs> sequence of numbers. Um. Mm-hmm. I actually used one of these in one of our D&D games. Uh, you remember the Skyboat song? Yeah. Yeah, that w- I based that off a numbers station. Okay. Um, and so it's theorized that this, because this is also the like, symbol, of, like the signal of a Swiss numbers station. So people believe it could be that. Hmm. But this is a mystery for a reason, and it's a bit inconclusive. Okay. So, okay, so this word itself is the mystery. Uh, well, yes and no. It, it's part of the mystery. Part of the mystery, okay. Um, it's also a anagram for zygote. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Assuming the G is a G. Um, and... Which could be something to do with the fact he's a food engineer. So yeah. there are a few, there are a few theories. Um. So shortly after Stoll yelled, "Now I've got it!" Um, Stoll went to his favorite uh, bar in the town of Wilmsdorf, uh, where he ordered a beer and fell to the ground, injuring his face. Um. Okay. Witnesses, witnesses stated that he hadn't drunk anything before he fell on his face, uh, and he then Just su- uh, and then he suddenly lost consciousness. Oh, someone no. stuck their foot out and he tripped over it, didn't they? Mm-mm. It was the they that was out to get them. <laughs> so, anything? Any theories so far? Um, obviously being murdered. Okay, I know in the last one we said no Nazis and no Soviets, but this is like this is fe- this feels related. Eighty four, right? You said. Uh, I believe so. Yes, eighty four. Okay, so after Soviets, but it's nice and Cold, cold War. Where was the Cold War? When was the Cold War? Eighty four. And a bit before and a bit after. (laughs) Okay, okay. Berlin Wall was not down yet, basically. Yeah. Hmm. See, the Berlin Wall actually has nothing to do with it. That that was just my... just the time period. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he obviously... Which which, which side is he on? West. Okay, the good side. All right. Right? I don't know. (laughs) I don't remember like anything about Berlin Wall. I just know well, that was east wall. way is towards Russia and west way is towards the rest of Europe. So I think west is the one that is capitalist. I can't remember. So for the okay. life of me, I, I, so, this is the sort of thing I should have written down. But do you want me yeah. to search it up for you? Which side is which? Google. Google. Um, yes, please. Berlin Wall. Thank you, That's Daddy fine. Google. Vincent, thank you, Daddy okay. Google. Uh, thank you, Daddy Google. West Berlin. Oh, Google Daddy. Um, capitalist West Berlin was aligned politically with Federal Republic of Germany, aka West Germany. East Berlin served as uh, as the capital of the Socialist German Democratic Party, aka oh. East Germany. Okay, cool. We we got it right. We got it right. We we. I got it right. The fact he was in West Germany. <laughs> I got it right, the fact that there was a wall. <laughs> okay. Team effort. So, 
So it wasn't the uh, Russians putting him in the gulag and or like just uh, murdering him out of nowhere, probably. Mm. So a- a- any theories so far? Do you want me to keep going? It was Ant Man <laughs> <laughs> sent to assassinate him during the Cold War because he just discovered some great technology that would have turned the tides. Great food engineering technology. He's a food engineer? Yeah, I said it many times. Oh, God. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he what invented a way to solve world hunger. Yeah. And that? that was bad for Big Pharma. That's pharmaceuticals. It was bad for Walmart, I guess. <laughs> Your famously German company, Walmart. Yes. <laughs> Wait, why did you say a zygote was to do with him do- being... To do with him being a food engineer or whatever it was. It's a nanogram for the word. Because it yeah, could be but... to do with like GMO shit, you know? Like, what does that no, mean? A, z- a zygote is. Um... Oh, I, I thought it's I knew a, for a second until a I. Part of a baby life cycle. Yeah, yeah. It's to What's do with a zygote? It, it's, it's before the embryonic stage of a baby. Yeah. Oh, when they're a bean? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's before bean. Oh, they're in there an ooze. Yeah, I think, I think it's it, like cell. I think it's pro post ooze pre bean. Yeah, it's like I'm pretty sure bean every beginnings. Stage. Yeah, it's it's pre-bean. new beginnings, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Alright. So Stoll then awoke and drove away in his VW golf and it's Is that necess- it's so oddly specific. Is that like, uh, why is that a part of the thing? It's just part of the information I found. I thought it might be interesting to know what <laughs> car he drove. Know, this is so funny. Like, <laughs> it's just like such a funny thing. If like in all these stories, everything else is a mystery, but like we know exact records of all right, what was their car and stuff. All right. Um, so he drove off in his car. Not not specific. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then it's not known what he did for the next two hours. Um, probably drove around. Probably, yeah. And his, what was it? Something golf? Volkswagen golf, golf yeah. In his Volkswagen golf. Vital information, yeah. write this one down, kids. <laughs> All right. So at around 1 a.m. the next morning, so October 26th in 1990. Because he's gotten out of the Volkswagen golf. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. And he went to, oh God, uh, Heigesielbach. Uh, where in his he, Volkswagen wagon golf. In his Volkswagen yeah. golf, yeah. Uh, which is the town he grew up in. He then talked to a woman he knew from his childhood and mentioned a horrible incident that was to occur. Uh, and was this horrible incident? He doesn't specify. He just says horrible incident. Um, since it was so late at night, the woman advised him to go to his parents' place and talk to them instead. Uh, he then left. So man, food science is pretty intense. So he left in his Volkswagen Golf, right? Yeah, yeah he yeah. left in his Volkswagen <laughs> Golf. All right, good, good, he good. Just making sure. Else's car, has he? Uh, no, it was his Volkswagen yeah. Golf. Okay. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, okay, good. So good. at approximately three a.m., two truck drivers discovered Stoll's cra- uh, crashed Volkswagen Golf. No, <laughs> <laughs> the Volkswagen. <laughs> no. Uh. In a trench adjacent to the A45, which is an autobahn somewhere in West Germany, uh, near the Hagenstud exit, a hundred kilometers from uh, Hagelsebach, the town he grew up in. Both, Jesus. Tr- yeah, both These trucks- names. I know they're very German. Um, <laughs> <laughs> both truck drivers testified to have seen an injured, injured person in a white jacket walking near the car. After calling law enforcement, the drivers found the severely injured Gunther naked in his car. Um, he was unconscious. Naked? Yeah, no, he was. What? Na- he was naked in his Volkswagen. In his Volkswagen Golf. <laughs> yeah, he was naked in his Volkswagen Golf. Oh. Uh, this isn't going to be a repeat of the of the throwback. 
room. Is it? <laughs> and he <laughs> happened to be watching. He happened to have a comic that that was Iron Man two on it. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man issue number two. Yes. He um, jerking off. <laughs> And then they notice a small <laughs> laceration in this scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, uh, Stoll was conscious and mentioned four male persons who had been with him in the car and had subsequently ran away. When asked if the men were his friends, Stoll denied it. Wait, he's he alive? Yeah, he was conscious. Oh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Well, don't He's hold your horses. Naked. Don't hold your horses because he died on the way to the hospital in oh. an ambulance. No. No. They should have taken him to the Volkswagen <gasps> Golf. Yeah, because he, he died outside of the Volkswagen Golf. What kind of death is that to not have yeah, died? Does it really matter anymore? Oh. Where's the point in life? So cancelled. <laughs> I'm fucking the tra- tragedy is that he didn't Golf. in the Volkswagen. This episode has been sponsored by Wait, Volkswagen. It it. Okay, what he discovered was he early on discovered that the food pyramid was a load of bullshit. But <laughs> the, the, the cereal companies found out, so they put a hit on him. And they murdered him. All because right. he was going to uh, disprove the food pyramid, even though it was probably disproven by then. You know what I just figured out? Staring at, the, at this Yogsi. If you, the way he's written that Y, if you take the tail of it and put it along the top, it becomes an upside down triangle, aka the food pyramid. It's all connected. <laughs> I agree. Why am I friends with such geniuses? I don't, <laughs> I don't deserve this in my life or in my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what can we say? What can we say? You're welcome. <laughs> um, uh, the criminal investigation showed that Stoll was injured before the crash, and he, his injuries indicated that he was hit Felix. by a car elsewhere and subsequently positioned in the passenger seat on, of his car and driven to a location where he was discovered. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You mean the Volkswagen didn't get completely totaled? No, the Volkswagen was crashed. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it was total. It just means it probably drove off the road and maybe hit a tree. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that out there you can you can buy Gunter Stoll's Volkswagen Golf in <laughs> West Germany. I don't think they call it West Germany anymore. Okay, in Germany then. <laughs> it was yes. West Germany at the time. Sue me. All right. Okay. We will. <laughs> Damn, I don't have anything <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> okay. Um, it was also concluded that he was naked at the time he was hit by a, pre- that, by a car. Other drivers... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. These are the details I find. How can you confirm that? I don't know. Maybe the, the Wait, injuries maybe weren't... Maybe some abrasions that wouldn't have been there if he was wearing clothes. Mm. It's like such a weird forensic science thing. I was like, all right, was he wearing clothes or not? Yes, it's like no. a normal thing they check for. <laughs> we check for. We have that classic nudity check. <laughs> it's standard. Yeah. Nude time of crash confirmed. <laughs> Nude time of death. They're, they're the important things. They're the important things. We check for abrasions on the scrotum and nudity. Wait a minute. Was his Waiting. love of the Volkswagen Golf and he was just having car sex with it? Ah, he was an objectophile. Yes, yes. Specifically for like that, Like that person who married the Berlin Wall. There's a person... What? Yeah. A person uh, married the Berlin Wall. Another person married the Eiffel Tower. I knew about the Eiffel Tower, I, and I also know there's an amusement park out there somewhere. Not park, amusement park ride, specifically. Yeah, the pirate, uh, the uh, boat one. Are we My both Strange Addiction. Him? Yeah, yeah, My Strange Addiction, yeah, yeah. It's, it's married, it's married. No, 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 like, one of the boat rides that swing back and forth. Oh, one of them. Um, I'm talking about the one where um, the, the person liked to rub the... 
fluid all over their face. Yeah. Yeah. What's like that person who married the DS? I mean, if you spend enough time with it, I guess, may as well make it your lover. <laughs> I did. Anyway. Um, Sorry? <laughs> other drivers reported seeing a hitchhiker at the Hagen stood exit uh, near where the crash was. Disgusting. <laughs> neither, neither the hitchhiker nor the person in the white jacket that was previously mentioned were identified. <laughs> Suspicions regarding Stoll's holiday trips to the Netherlands, where he was thought to be uh, uh, contacting drug dealers, proved unfounded. <laughs> uh, officially, the death of Gunther Stoll was deemed a murder by the German police, and the case has never been solved. Uh, the meaning of the, of the Yogtsi uh, remains still unknown uh, as well. It might be a license plate. Um... It might be an anagram. It might mm. be that one Swedish number station. It mm. might be his version of Eureka. <laughs> yeah. Does it um, translate to anything? Uh, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, actually, I've got Google Translate open. Uh, it in there. <laughs> Not that I know of, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> funnily enough... It'd be funny it, if it just came up with something. Uh, it, it didn't... Det- it didn't translate it, but it detected as German. Huh. Not that, oh, that... Well, people probably would have tried doing this, being like, it's probably the TZ. Yeah. Specific. Actually. Here, let me let me try. You know, I, I I can't find anything, but all right. So. First of all, before we go into theories, who do you reckon this white jacket character was? Definitely the person you was paranoid of. <laughs> um, obviously, his paranoia was very founded. Let's just mm. let's let's give him that. He was experienced moderate moderate paranoia, and then he was then he was killed. Let's let's give him some credit there. Mm. Round of he applause. was right. He was right. Yep, so whoever they were, um, they got him into a car accident and then repositioned him into a passenger seat of his Volkswagen Golf um, Mm. and re-crashed the car in a different place. He also, didn't he say there would be like a tragic event or something? Uh, A horrible incident. Horrible incident. He was the horrible incident. Um. He shouldn't have been dri- driving his Volkswagen Golf that direction. He should have driven in another direction, I guess. Um, well, okay, well, it's like people who go like uh, go around telling people, ah, oh, yes, yeah, something awful is going to happen to me. Something awful is go- will happen to them. But just like it's like the sort of people who go, ah, oh, yeah, all my friends are turning against me and all the people I know. And then this is like, yeah, because you're crazy. You're, you're, all your friends are turning against you. They're just leaving you. <laughs> you just mm. kind of a bitch, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but to be fair, he did say a horrible incident, and then he died. Yeah. Well, and it was very suspicious. So let's mm. give him that. I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him bonus points for that one. Um. And obviously, bonus points for the Volkswagen Golf. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes unspoken. The Volkswagen Golf highlighted the story. Um, Just to make sure, I searched up the owner of uh, the uh, crit of Kellogg's. He died nineteen. Um, it was nineteen forty three, so it wasn't him. Okay, okay. It wasn't <laughs> Mr. Kellogg Kellogg's it was himself? Kellogg. It wasn't um, John Harvey Kellogg. I'm glad we've ruled out the main suspect. Good. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, other big um so cereal brands out there. <laughs> a cereal thing. Oh. Is he a spy for the cereal companies? Arnott's. Mm. Are they cereals? Um, they do cereals. What are cereals in Germany? Mm. All right. Well, do they have like almond brand or something? William we... Arnott. <laughs> Died 1901. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Before we get too into. Serial conspiracies. Serial killers, if you may. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go into some popular theories. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So, 
There is a <coughs> comedian, uh, Demi Lardner, who posed the theory that, uh, like you were saying earlier, um, Talitha, that oh. there was some sort of them. But, <coughs> and, but what she said was that uh, the, his wife was in on it. And, I wouldn't be surprised. Sleep and, great wife. Yeah, and was kind of feeding his delusions, and instead of going like, like a, a normal partner would have gone like, no, there's nothing to be worried about. Nothing. And she was going, yes, yes, there is, there is people after you. Get extra locks for the doors. Here's a notepad if you ever want to write six letters. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that, make, that makes sense. Like, um, hmm. feeding into the paranoia, putting him in a heightened state of awareness and constantly having him be stressed out in a fight or flight situation where mm. if he were to be targeted, he'd be so exhausted and constantly on edge. Yeah. Um, it'd be so much easier to take him out in his Volkswagen Golf. She actually bought the Volkswagen Golf for him. <laughs> oh. Okay, so, so I searched up what a Volkswagen Golf looks like. It's severely the... underwhelming. 1980, you... uh, uh, yeah. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I've got to Google a golf now. Severely underwhelming. I thought it was, I don't know, as soon as I hear Volkswagen, you just think of, like, something more impressive. But no. No. It's just, like, this Aww. box kind of car with, like, this uh, long, slim front. Wait, My sister loves those sorts of cars. Would it, it'd be the 1980, not that a 1985. It's it was... a Volkswagen Golf Mark 1, specifically. Mark 1? Um... Yeah. Like, um, taking it back to, um, the Iron Man suits, the Mark 1, Mark 2. Wait, you can shut up about Iron Man as well. <laughs> yeah. I've had enough Iron Man talk for one day. I, I don't oh, know how to describe... Oh, it being a license plate now that I'm seeing it. Hold on. Yog. There. This is Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 1. Yeah, no, it's a very underwhelming car. Mm. But why was it so um, important to the story? It was! It was! What are you talking about? That's where everything happened. Presumably. Yeah. Alright, um, some oh other god, theory. Oh my god, oh hmm? my god, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh For the god. listeners, um... I'm sorry. <laughs> but... Ugh. For the people in this call... Yeah. I found this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, turns Google images, the Volkswagen Golf Mark One is closely related to this, as she found a um, a uh, clipping a of the guy of the guy Yogtsi yeah, and the Volkswagen Golf. Hold on, let me zoom in on that. Gunther has like this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He's he has very that... bushy eyebrows. He has very serial killer look. But um, he has the Tony Stark goatee. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, Tony Stark goatee. But like, it all links for... back to Tony Stark. I imagine a Tony Stark goatee, but it's more of the same texture as like Steve Harvey's mustache. <laughs> It'd be if, if Robert Downey so it's carpet. had a really, really, really thick goatee. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. <laughs> And all right. <laughs> I was gonna say, did drugs? Ugh. Um, all right. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Yeah, that no. just clicked. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, you see the Yogse we've been referring to this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the original. Um, okay, that's a redrawing. Yeah, it's a redrawing because Stoll's wife <laughs> had, uh, had actually thrown it away, and this is what a yeah, bitch. This was a recreation of it. Um. The letters aren't a word in any language, and Stoll's wife had no idea what it could mean. Uh, police investigation and internet sleuths such as ourselves have attempted to crack yes, the code. Such as ourselves. <laughs> have, have attempted to crack the code many times, but so far, no one has been successful. <laughs> Can I just um, ask, who wrote that? Uh, Stoll. The wife. No, no, uh, no Gunther, that. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther Stoll did. Uh, and no, but just, it was... No, wife no. recopied it, right? Image. Who wrote that image? Uh, it actually says here the. Uh, it just says they were able to recreate it based on the wife's memory. 
because that's what I mean. So they that wasn't written by him. Yeah, no, it wasn't written by him. My question is, couldn't in order to determine if that was a six or a G, mm. couldn't we have seen the person who wrote its handwriting and seen what their their style of writing is, and if Gs look like that or if sixes look like that specifically? Um, also, that no. O could be a zero. If it's a six, that could oh, be. Oh, yeah, that, that, that is another thing. Uh, some people also theorized that um, the Z could be a two. Nah. Yeah. That one's the fullest shit. And oh, that the. Y, T, E. Yeah, and, and that the apostrophe could have been something denoting superscript. <gasps> so Wait a minute. It's not. How yeah. do they write coordinates in, in German? Uh, like with numbers. Yeah, it's with numbers. And that is another theory that could be coordinates, but um, that theory kind of went unfounded. Okay, okay. So, well, actually, I, 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 I say it went unfounded. I've never done any research into it. Uh, so it could be like if, if you put the, the letters, turn the letters to numbers, like Y25 oh. sort of thing. Um, I guess that might make coordinates, but I don't know. <laughs> So in German, I'm searching how to write coordinates in German. <laughs> um, okay. Is there other information about this? About what? Like graph coordinates. This. In well, about the Yogti or about the murder? In general. Um. No, I've basically covered everything. Damn. Mm. Um. So. Some other theories are, yeah, it could be Y06TZE, um, and that could be a license plate. Uh, people think that could be the license plate of the car that hit him, and that Gunther was psychic. Yeah, <laughs> I, that, that's also one I thought. Like, maybe he My thinking is, rather than him being psychic, mm. he'd seen a car following him, and he was trying mm. to remember the license plate so uh oh. and then he had a eureka eureka moment is like fuck that that black volkswagen golf that's been <laughs> following me <laughs> this is the license that black plate. volkswagen golf mark one <laughs> <laughs> you need to be as hyper specific as possible i mean you referenced um before something to do with the drugs <laughs> drugs oh yeah he was suspected of being um he was uh, yeah. creating drugs or something? Well, no, his... That makes sense. Well, his suspicions regarding Sol's holiday trips to the Netherlands, where he was thought to be uh, contacting a drug dealer, uh, but those theories pro uh, proved unfounded. Um, mm. See, I also heard a, another theory, like, from where I got uh, the theory from Demi Lardner, her partner, Tom Walker, uh, actually came with a theory that the white coat gentleman um was a pimp and <laughs> uh, and he was go killing stole for pimp related activities pimp related was... activities yes <laughs> that's such a weird way to word it pimp related yeah, i think my brain when you said white coat went to lab coat i uh, i i understand that i my my it's goes actually goes to like to, uh, what's his face <laughs> <laughs> from Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a white jumpsuit, a chemical jumpsuit. Yeah, this was actually the origin stories for Breaking Bad. <laughs> this is what it was created. I think from. that's in Breaking Bad. It is a bit, but yeah. it is. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. The origin story of the people in Breaking Bad oh. is probably in Breaking no, Bad. No, no, no. I mean, not I mean say. Oh, the inspiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah the um, origin stories for how they create, they decide to create it. See, it's funny when when I think of the white jacket. Uh, my brain um, initially goes to, like, you know those hoofy, sleeveless jackets you could get? No. Back yeah. in the 80s? Yeah, yes. you mean, like, yeah. a, um... I know, a parka, but without the sleeves? Yeah, yeah. A white yeah. one of them, that's what my brain originally goes went to. So... <laughs> Just a slob could... one, is that? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they It's very nonspecific, so it's whatever, I guess. I, I was thinking it was like just a, a zip up hoodie. <laughs> just a white zip up hoodie. All right. So, yeah. Um, 
theories like the uh, the Romanian number station because uh, that's its call sign Y O six T Z E. So, but apart from coincidence, there is nothing to prove that connection. Um, is it possible that uh, so? On that day, at that hour, on the number station, is it possible that they they broadcasted a message? Uh, that's entirely possible, but I wouldn't know. Like it, there's, there's, there was nothing about that. So, I like to subscribe to the idea that um, this one is is about a uh, he created something for either a drug company or like some kind of food based thing, and either like he. Because he didn't create it, and he got killed by the drug com- by the um, drug makers, uh, because he wasn't fulfilling his end of the deal, or he realized he did something bad, and he was trying to uh, not do it, and he was killed for it. Because he was killed in a very humiliating uh, way, like being stripped <laughs> yeah. naked and stuff. Yeah, and being in a car crash twice, and they crashed his Volkswagen Golf because of it. Yeah, his like what the fuck? Volkswagen Golf. Mark so they're clearly, the they're Mark clearly punishing him. <laughs> So I think it must have probably been like gotten by with some criminals and some real smooth criminals. It was the eighties. <laughs> Fuck off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, back when Michael Jackson wasn't wasn't known a for pedophile. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, I mean there would have been a time where he wasn't <laughs> when he was a child, I presume. <laughs> all right. Um, it's also possible. That Yogg say doesn't mean anything at all. If, yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking yeah, of. Yeah. yeah. If Stoll's episodes had, of paran- yep. yeah, Paranoid Delusion, and he believed there to be meaning to it, but there was none. Mm. But yeah, if Stoll's it's episodes of... formula. Are, yeah. Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Well, yeah. Is it a chemical for- I don't, formula? Uh, I, would do, I don't remember that much about... Um, like, because I'm pretty sure they use... I don't know if they use superscript. They, su- they do use superscript, I think. Yeah, they, they do. To denote they use how both many, in chemistry. Yeah, to denote how many um, of a certain type of element are in a uh, molecule. Mm. I always thought they use subscript, not superscript for that. They use uh, both. I, H2 yeah, they use both. Is always, two is always on the bottom in H2O. I, I think it depends. It changes depending on the... Uh, chemical compound, but hmm. I, I did chemistry for three years. You'd think I should know this. I just I just did in high school. <laughs> yeah. I remember I didn't, briefly take in high school. A, I didn't take it as an elective. I just I just did in basic. I, I did take it as an elective and it's one of my greatest regrets of my schooling life. Yeah. Well, I just did physics because I love physics. <laughs> Imagine I doing a science. I did biology and chemistry. I don't know oh, why I did. Do that to yourself. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Science? I should have picked um, uh, film and TV instead of chemistry. They're on the same line. It was mm. very fun. Let's get into that. What was everyone's electives in high school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not get into that. <laughs> um, right. Anyway, back to the formula Episode. theory. Mm. Um, Yitrum. Hold on, let's see. Is, is it possible that she only remembered part of it? Yeah, that's entirely possible, but... Um, um, element. Uh, why... So, yttrium, yeah. oxygen... The fuck is G? God it damn, might, I wish I knew chemistry. It might be... Some, uh, numbers, some letters don't have elements associated with them. Yeah. Germanium? I feel like that's one. G. <laughs> uh, for one, yes, it is. Don't laugh at that, Jacob. Um, yeah, it is germanium. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, wait. wait. Oh, yeah, no, G. I'm, yeah, I'm but there's no just straight G. Yeah, there is one that's just straight G. Straight G. Yeah, so it is a six. Okay, then. no, germanium is G E. Um, and this doesn't really matter. Um. There isn't a GT either, so. But I think that's that, that's a more interesting um, kind of thing. I think it's some kind of secret formula that he created that um, uh, he didn't. He wanted to get out again. It's the secret to um, <laughs> it's the secret to overcome the food period, period pyramid. <laughs> period. It's the food pyramid. <laughs> 
or some secret uh drug or it is an uh or it's a um what's it called when uh each one is letters each one each letter represents a word a cipher no an no. anagram yes okay no, hold sorry, on. acronym 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 can, can i send you a screenshot of what just came up when i searched this go ahead no. <laughs> uh, hold on i'm i'm curious <laughs> the first result Six Teslas. <laughs> well, because Tesla is a, a unit of um, electricity. electricity oh, right, right. I, completely... <laughs> <laughs> I oh, forgot that oh. it was a unit. I, I thought I was just talking about six Tesla cars. I was like, what? For context for the listeners, I searched six capital T um, to the power of one. And it just came up with six Teslas, and I had a big brain moment where I was like, six Tesla stock? What? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why did you look up T to the power of one when it's the because six? Because I was, yeah, I was thinking that um, I could be completely off here, but I seem to remember that six could be before an element in, in chemistry, and then you'd have the power. I thought maybe the one belonged to the T. It is, and I'm trying to remember why. Because you, denotes... you can have powers before the t- well, before. Well, the no, because one of them denotes how many atoms are in of that are in the molecule, and one of them denotes how many are connected. Mm. And I can't remember which is which. Yeah, this is exactly why I didn't do chemistry. I'm like I said, to... I hated every minute of it. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, do you guys have any other theories before we wrap up? Um, I feel like there's a bunch more theories that I could come up with, but um, I don't know if my brain's quite able to process them right at this minute. You'll probably get various messages from me in the coming weeks where I'm like, it's this! <laughs> um, I mean, I already have. Like Every time you finish an episode, you just kind of come to me and go, here are my theories. <laughs> Here's my theory. It's this owl. Here's my theory. It's this blah. What was the one I sent you yesterday? Uh, hmm. It was about the Ericsson Twin episode. Ericsson Twin episode. Uh, oh, yeah. I said it was um, sex trafficking, didn't I? Yeah. And yeah, did. they experienced a, a brief... Uh, uh, Psycho- um, psychotic episode, psychotic break, and I sent you the definition of acute polymorphic psychotic disorder. Yes, you did. Which... Of schizophrenia. So, which, which I couldn't yep. find during the episode. So, thank you for that. You're welcome. Not, You're that, welcome. not that it helps anymore, but yeah, it doesn't help anymore. But you now know what it is. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, he was. Ki- uh, he was probably just killed by like criminals. Because he got yeah. the and stuff. Yeah, but that, it's so weird that they would move his body. And it's not that weird, I don't think. Car. Yeah, but no. why would you pile four people into his car where you're leaving all this evidence, like your hair, your fingerprints, you're leaving so much up to chance there. Yeah, but apparently and not. And you're driving and crashing the car while you're in it and he's in the passenger seat, naked for whatever reason. That's to humiliate fun. him. To punish him. But what for? Not for fulfilling his uh, quota. He's meant to create a thing and he didn't create it. Oh, right. I thought you meant this was just a random act of violence. I'm like, that doesn't make no. sense. <laughs> he was mixed up in something. That's why he was nervous constantly because he had done something bad or he was part of something bad. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or All he right, wanted well, out of some kind of situation and then fucked up. Yeah. And got got for it. Were there any- uh, like, you know how there was the Enigma code back in, um... Well, what, sure. One? Two? Uh, was it one or two? Not in it, was two. Not it was two. It was two. It was two. Whatever it was, Benedict Cumberbatch yeah. was there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know how there was that code? Do you think there was any code akin to that in, um... Cold War? In- the Cold War. And Almost he, certainly. He just had a passion for solving codes on the side. 
And he was like, I've got it. And they're like, he's got it. Time, roll in. Kill roll. him. Kill him. <laughs> yeah. Kill him. Quick. <laughs> finish, finish him. <laughs> well, that, I think I think that is entirely possible, but because um, there almost certainly were like codes and stuff like that for uh, during the Cold um, War. So. Hold on, wait. Cold War. Okay, I think. Codes. Right, no, yeah. I re- I really want to quickly just see if there were. Oh my god, right. not 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 COD. Definitely are. Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Ah, uh, Cold War codes inside this. All right. Well, I think we'll call yeah. it there then. Uh, oh, sorry. My personal theory is the same as Demi Lardner's in that I think, uh, yeah, it is his his wife kind of egging him on, and uh, some mm. someone was out to get him, or even like the wife might have hired someone to kill him. Ooh. Yeah, um, I agree with that. So, yeah, that's my theory. But yeah, um, and with that, I've been Finn. I've been Talitha. I am still going to be Jacob. And thank you all for listening to this episode of the Voynich Manuscript Podcast. Uh, Bye! See ya! Bye!